are in, where are we? In Missouri. <laughs> Little House on the Prairie, Little House in the Big Woods, and On the Banks of Plum Creek were all written right there in this beautiful little house. We made it! We are out here in front of the Laura Ingalls Wilder uh, Museum. They've got a butterfly garden right out here in front. That's the first thing we saw. And we are those people that showed up early before they even opened. I am like intensely excited about this. So we've just been checking out these beautiful flowers all around us. There's an angry little kid over there. Um, but AJ and Tony are gonna stick it out in the camper. Um, they are gonna hang out out there and work because this matters more to Ava and I because we have read the books. Ava's working her way through them right now, right? You know, I'm gonna tear up multiple times today because man, these books, I loved them so much and uh, I think she's a perfect fit for farm hair too, right? Anyway, Ava thinks I'm weird. No, I don't but... think you're weird, no, I never said that. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go up because they're getting ready to open the doors in just a few minutes here. We just finished in the museum and it was really cool, wasn't it, Dave? Yeah. No pictures or video, so we're here to tell you about it. What was your favorite part? Learning about like a rose, cause like it doesn't really describe that much, you know, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't know much about her, so I just did that. My favorite part, honestly, was Pa's fiddle. Oh, I, I like kind of lost it when I saw it because it's a constant theme. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know why I am crying. But anyway, it's a constant theme. And it got him through, like, so many things, right? Yeah. Whenever they were scared, he'd play the fiddle. Are we supposed to, like, walk up there? We're walking to the farmhouse right now. Yeah, we're, we're taking a path around here. And um, anyway, uh, the power of music, the power of a dad. <laughs> and family and so that fiddle was just in it all the way through and so i love it that was probably my favorite thing but there was clothes of hers uh there was a quote about business women that i absolutely love uh basically saying that you know at, at least at the time that laura was alive that uh there's lots of discussion for and against women in business but farm women have always been business women and there's never been a complaint about that right mm -hmm. Um, that was cool. Uh, we saw the original manuscripts. We saw, oh, her sewing basket. We saw Mary's bead uh, bracelet thing. And no, her bead shoes. Like, oh. she always wears. Yes. Um, family pictures, family trees, learned about the family. Well, um, I have the family and trees yep. in my books. Ava's been like our historian that tells us what's going on. So we are walking up to the farmhouse right now and I can't wait to go in. We're gonna have to put our masks on and we're gonna have to go back in, but we'll do a little uh, talking about it afterwards because we can't film inside again, but um, yeah, it's a beautiful day here, isn't it? It's like 75 degrees and sunny and 
I wouldn't do it any other way. No. Okay, we just finished up in the farmhouse and um, as you can see it up there behind us, uh, all built by Almanzo and uh, a um, what? A few friends in Almanzo because he said they had some other people helping. At the end, yep, he got he was getting older. Over like 17 years they built it and um, it was cool. Her kitchen was the first part you saw and as you all know, the kitchen was central to a home. Tony, what? thanks for bringing us here. No problem. We have made our way over to what's called the Rock House and I'm excited to learn a little bit more about this. It is um, another piece of the property here. It's about three quarter of a mile trail from the farmhouse over to here. And um, we're gonna go learn a little bit more about this piece of the property, but we forgot our masks. So Ave ran back to the truck to get the masks. Got them, kid? Okay, masks, uh, we're all about safety here. Hey, let's go. Uh, we're all about safety and masks are required anyway here. And so that's what we're gonna do. So this is beautiful, like beautiful here, huh? That was very cool. Um, little house on the prairie, little house in the big woods, and on the banks of Tom Creek were all written right there in this beautiful little house made of stone and um, such a serene place here. So we are lucky people to get to visit this. Oh. Twenty-five minutes. Twenty-five minutes. Did it in and out. All set up. Kids ran all the water. Sewers hooked up. Air conditioning's running. Twenty-five minutes. So we love Florida, but we can't go to Florida right now. A because it seems like there's a lot of virus there, and B it's really hot in the summer. But my dad lives there. I've gone there since I was a little kid, and we've gone there at least once a year every year since Ava was born. And mm -hmm. where's our favorite place to eat? Dockside Dave's. Oh my gosh. It's not the fanciest restaurant you're ever going to eat at. It's but fancy. it's the best. It's Florida fancy. It's, a Flor it's Florida fancy, you're right. Just and fun. it is so good. And no matter what, when we land, we, because um, we always fly, there's a direct cheap flight out of Des Moines, we always fly. When we land, we go straight to Dockside Dave's no matter what time it is because it's time to eat mm -hmm. to kick off our trip to Florida. And they have Shock Tap on tap there, which like I never see anywhere. So whenever I think of Shock Tap, I think of Florida on vacation too. and Dockside Dave's. So welcome to Dockside Dave's. I don't have any fresh grouper for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, black and grouper, that's where it's at. They have the best grouper sandwiches. My dad turned us onto it years ago oh, and yeah. it's so good. Grouper bites, grouper sandwiches, whatever. So we've mm -hmm. made it to, we actually are not in Florida, if you didn't guess, based on that whole thing. We are in, where are we? We're in Missouri. <laughs> Springfield. Springfield, right? Yeah. We're in Springfield. We just drove in. We um, took a detour and visited the home of Laura Ingalls Wilder, which was really important to me. So, there were tears. There was lots of tears. I don't know why, I don't, like we didn't have cable. We had like four channels. I read all the time when I was a kid. Like there wasn't anything else to do besides be outside. You know this, because yeah. that's how you grew up too. 
on a farm. And I read those books over and over and over again. And the way that they were written, you could picture yourself right there. But, and I, I know it's not the same for, I don't think it's the same for boys. I don't think boys like loved those books like young girls did. Well, I had to read it in fifth grade. I think it was Mrs. Gates who made me read it. But uh, it was good. Um, kind of hit home because I was like raised in a 130 year old farmhouse. Yeah. No air conditioning. You know, where you lay there at night and sweat. I know, because me too. Yeah, and so I could really relate to it, but I think my kids now, when they read it, they just can't relate. It's so, it's like me trying to relate to somebody in the 1600s, you know, it doesn't make any sense to them. Like, what do you mean? Like boondocking is like their only experience with no yeah. air conditioning, they, and... That was quite the experience the other night when we were boondocking, they were like... So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna like, do? You're gonna put on very few clothes and go to sleep. Yeah, just get relaxed and sweat. Open the windows. Yeah, so that was really cool. It was really neat to see the house where she wrote the books and mm -hmm. where she spent the majority of her life because the books were like a period of like her first 16 years of life, right? And right. then, um, you know, so that was neat. Ava and I went all through it and loved it. And so now we're gonna kick back here for a day. The kids, pull, we pulled in and the pool looked nice. So the kids said, maybe we'll stay here more than a day. Yeah. So we got a lot of work to do tomorrow anyway, so we'll see. If the internet's good, we can do some uploading. It's good. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. Here's That's hard. You. This is your third pool that, hey, that you've been really like uh, focusing, right? So let's see what the progression is, okay? You had to push it off your leg so hard to so spin around. Sorry. This is almost getting all the way over. Yes. Good job. Are you going to go for it? Come on. No. You're going to do it. Here. Oh! It was like a whale hitting the water. Now let me do it. No, it's my shoulder. Can we use the car? Thank you.